I'm back and I'm working on uh, did work on the ant hill got it a lot done a lot of it done and I started working on the hyrax the hyrax is a little animal that lives in high up in cliffs very tiny but he lives up high and these little ants here are very tiny they've got a big job to do and they get it done so he climbs up high where he should be low, but he's not. He defeats the heights, and that's where he lives. And I've been drawing him today. And I don't like to draw things with fur. It's You just keep doing it. You just make the little lines, you know, and you make it um, darker like in places to it look like the fur's laying over the top. I know I'm mumbling a little bit, but I'm, when I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time, sometimes I slur, mumble a little bit. Apologize for that. But uh, he's coming along, the little high racks. And then I'm going to start drawing, coloring my uh, the lizard that lives in the king's palace. And somehow I'm going to make this look like a throne. Maybe... I'll do it with gold. Yeah. Take the gold and make the chair look like a gold-covered throne chair. So here's the king's throne, and that little lizard has the ability to climb all over the king's throne. So you might see yourself as small. You're not small. You might be feel like you're a little bitty fish in a big pond and there's nothing, you know, going to happen with your art. You're going to make something beautiful with your art. That's what's going to happen. And God's going to let something come out of you and you're going to be amazed by it. If you'll just listen, connect to God, get in that beautiful uh, presence where... You've prayed, and next thing you know, you're feeling good and feeling lifted up, and then you can start. And then you just, things start coming to your head. As you've been in the presence of God, and things will start coming in your head. God will start talking to you. Okay, well, let's do this. This is a good idea. And you just get started. And when you get started... You just keep letting God talk to you. Just keep trying. That's why we have eraser on pencils. And we have a lot of erasers around here. And we do just keep trying over and over. Erase it till we get it right. Or even start over. Do it bad. Just do it. Keep doing it bad for a while. It'll get better. It'll get better and better. I want to encourage artists because they get so discouraged. You know, very few people encourage them. They want to use them. <laughs> you know, will you paint this for me? Will you paint that for me? <laughs> but, you know, you don't get a lot of encouragement. You know, really good critique. And by the way, if an artist asks you, what does this need? They really are not asking <laughs> They don't really want an answer. They just want somebody to appreciate their work. And give good feedback. Give some good feedback. You can find something good in it. Something. In the, even in the worst art, you can find something of that person. And you look for that. For what they were going for. A feeling. Maybe a mood. So you look for that and you compliment. It's no reason to tear down. Believe me, we tear ourselves down enough. We don't need help. We critique ourselves. It takes us years to learn to like something that we've done. You know, we gotta let a little time go by and get better and it grows on us. And next thing you know, we start liking some of the things we've done. But you promise you probably won't like it at first. You'll probably critique it to death, and this needs to be done and that.
but there'll become a point there will sorry there will come a point um, when there's nothing else you can do to make it better now either you get more education because maybe there is some things that can be done to make it better or you just realize I'm done sign it date it sign it and leave it you're done when you can't think of anything you can do to make it better, you're done. And so sign it. Maybe somebody will like it. Hang it up in your own house. Make it pretty. Surround your home with things you've painted, things you've done. Who cares about decorating? I used to care so much about that kind of stuff. And now I just want to be surrounded with things I love and Things that make me feel good and, you know, things that inspire me. I don't care if it goes. I don't care if it matches. <laughs> I just I just want things I love around me. So, all right, I've got this chair about colored in. It's not anything real magnificent looking. But, you know, your brain sees a chair. And that's what I want. But you don't just see a chair. Your brain sees a nice chair. I could put maybe some jewels on it. You know, I could make some circles. When I make circles, I'll kind of like to use something like this little tool. If I have it. If you don't, find something to... A bottle top. Find a bottle top. So I like this because it's got all the way down to the tiny, tiny circles. So if I want jewels, let's just say I want to put some jewels here. I'm trying to do it holding the camera. It's not easy. Yes, make a circle right there. It's going to be very tiny. There you go. So then I can color it in. Maybe, a, maybe it's a red ruby. There you go. There's a red ruby on that chair. It looks like a black dot on camera. And it kind of looks like a black dot up close. So if you want the red to show and the black is kind of filled in, just kind of let it go around the edges. And it will, it will fuzz up a little bit. See how it's fuzzing up? And your eye will see it. You'll see the red. See? You didn't see it before. It's just a little fuzz and it causes your eye to be able to see it. Doesn't have to be perfect. What are their eyes going to see? You know, your eyes don't see everything. Just the things you need to see. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll do like two rubies right here maybe messing up my little drawing because I'm trying to get it straight <laughs> there you go oh that's terrible all right let's put another ruby gonna have to make it bigger than it is anyway put another ruby fuzz it out a little bit may have fuzzed out too much but that's remember what I said that's what the eraser is for Believe me, I have a lot of erasers. I just got a whole pack of them. I even like these little school erasers. They're really not. Look at my fingernails, dear God. Ink, this is what happens. That came off my pencil. Artists and gardeners have the worst hands. <laughs> Get ready for that. And get to our players. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just ink. That happens. Okay. Got to be ready for that. You see, I don't have any fingernails. Well, I like long nails. I like pretty nails. But when you garden, you do art, you do painting, forget the nails. Might as well forget that. All right, we're going to finish this. It's a little long here, but 
I'll come back another day and let you see the finished result. If that don't look good, I'll erase it. I absolutely will erase it. You don't want to press down too hard when you erase. You really don't. You don't want to tear a hole in your paper and then you have to start over on another piece of paper. But just, you know, give it a little touch and erase. And I'm not a good drawer. I'm not. I've seen people amaze me with their drawings. I do the best I can. But I do like to color. <laughs> I love to color. <laughs> so I'll draw. But your drawing is only going to be as good as your basic drawing. It's only going to be that good. I don't care how much you color it. You got to get the basic drawing pretty good. Or your drawing will look good. I do want a little bit of brown behind this little lizard so that, you know, he's, you know, if you just color it green, it's going to look like a kindergartner colored it. Um, so you want a little definition because he does turn brown. He turns green. If he's a gecko, like some kind of little gecko here, his little eye. So, yeah. Is I'll put a little brown on him. And then I'll come back with some green. He should be gold. He's on a gold. He's on a gold. They turn the color greens and browns. Or whatever they're sitting on. He's cute. See, I'm starting to like him. Mm-hmm. See how you start to like your little drawing? It's cute. Hey, dude. You're starting to look like something. I'm starting to see you. Okay. So I got a little green. So what I'll do next is try to find a darker green. Hmm. Oh, there went something. Yeah, you're always dropping pens and pencils and erasers and sharpeners and paper. Just leave it there till you get through. Or just get up and pick it up. Ta-da! Okay. This color's okay. It's a little darker. It's called emerald green. And I get these at Hobby Lobby. Artist Sloth. They're beautiful colors and they're such a beautiful blend. They really pick some pretty colors to blend. And even if you use the wrong color, you go back and use the wrong color, it's going to blend. It's going to look beautiful. Alright, there's a little light blue. Yeah, it is. Whatever. I just keep coloring it till it's dark enough and I like him. And then I'll do a little shading. I'm going to do my shading, I think, with dark brown. So you do it. Start your little bit of shading with the dark brown. You got to define something. Which which side's the light? The light's coming from the left side. So his shading is going to be more to the right side. So that's how you bring things out make them look real. The shading. Shading's important. Guess I need to sharpen my pencil, don't I? Mm -hmm. I had an electric pencil sharpener. Did not like it. I want an old-fashioned wall pencil sharpener. But the one I've got is new. It worked pretty good. And it does work good. You don't want to chew your pencils up. They cost too much when you get good pencils. I think I paid 25 or $30 for this little set of pencils. But they're good. In other words, they don't break as easy. I've got some that break terribly. Right here. Let's see. Uh... No brand. Oh, there. 
There you go. What does that say? Not made in America, so it's not as good a quality, and it breaks easy. Of course, some of these might be made in another country. I'm not, I have no idea where they're made, but I'm just saying, there are bad pencils. They're cheap. They break. Every time you try to sharpen them, the, the tip breaks off. So it's just an aggravation. It, it, when you get enough money, buy you some good pencils. And if you draw enough, and if you're a child, your parents will invest. Yeah, well, let's see what you're doing. Yeah, they'll be impressed because not everybody can do that. So, a little more shading. Give them a little definition. See, see how when you put the dark here, it makes his tail look bent? Instead of just a flat green, it makes his tail look bent. See? How his tail just bent? This kind of brings his belly around. You can see his belly now. Oh, fat belly. Most of them do. Eat a lot of bugs. In my car, eat a lot of bugs. So, his underbelly is going to be darker because this is a shadow side. And to get the round effect, you have to just kind of curve it around from the. See what I'm doing? I'm just. <clears throat> I'm just making like a little round trunk. And you can see the roundness. That's what gives round a round shape. Just kind of come up from the back. And he goes a little, little. See how round he's starting to look? There's a lot of tricks. It's not really tricks, I guess. It's, it's just knowing what to do. I'm no expert, believe me, but I do know a couple of things, a few things. Okay, not great yet. We do want to put some more color in this thing, and we're getting somewhere. All righty, hopefully when I get the rest of it finished. I'll be able to come back and show you the rest of it. Till next time. Get up and draw. Get up and paint. Get up and do your art. Get up and do something awesome. <laughs>